Where were you on Valentine's Day? This is what I was doing. Why do we always end up in the bathroom on Friday afternoon? Very good. Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> hey, happy Valentine's Day. Busy, busy day. Can I get a Valentine's Day hug from you guys? It's like you're under the it's like you're under the mistletoe. It's the light. It's the Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> See that's what it's all about. There you go. You're standing there with your notebook. Is that because you have a question? Yes, we're kind of yeah, uh, looking into the future here. And based on what you said, keeping this cabinet flush with the bottom of the vanity. Yes. So by the time this comes over here yes. and the three quarter inch stone is out, yes. we're going to be really close. We're going to be so close, but John says it's going to fit. This cabinet is going to float at the same height as the vanity. It, and if it, we had to, the vanity could just come up another inch. It will fit, but the cor bottom corner of the cabinet is going to be almost at the corner of it. So it's going to look, it might look... Precision. Why don't we let them put the stone on the bathtub? So right. the idea here is we have this gorgeous vanity, and then the cabinet, the storage cabinet, will be elevated. So this whole thing is floating, this big stone counter, tons of awesome storage, beautiful mirror here. We'll put a little stone top on the cabinet here. Right? If we need to adjust right. it, we adjust it later. I think we'll end up putting a block underneath and not having that full height. A block under what? The cabinet, instead of floating it to the same height. You're just saying that because that was Charlotte's idea. To float no. Uh, no, I thought it was a good idea until we just measured. I think... Well, we want it floating. Okay. It's going to look good floating. But I just think that the corner of the top of the tub and the corner of that are going to be very close yeah. and it'll look like... Just to clarify, Chris is concerned that if the bottom corner of the floating cabinet and the top corner of the tub surround don't have a little breathing room, it could look weird. We could adjust it down so they actually just kiss. It'll be like a modern <laughs> moment. It's Valentine's Day all around <laughs> here. <laughs> okay? Okay. Let's leave it for now. We don't have to... Well, it's... it's the piece is just going on top, so it doesn't matter. Like, exactly. We could go up and down wherever. We'll figure it out soon enough because John is here taking all the measurements so our stone can get cut and it'll fit perfectly. We have a kitchen in progress. Kind of. What time did this get delivered? Around uh, lunch noon? Lunchtime. Lunchtime. Right before lunch. Yeah, doing okay. And here we are. Not we have, four uh, hours since it was unloaded. Six. We have all these base cabinets installed. Eleven left. And we can feel this layout. You know what's happening underneath where I'm standing? We have a stone floor that's installed. But they installed it and then they covered it up before I was allowed to see it. That's good, that'll be surprise, even better surprise. later. Surprise, surprise. Hope you like what you bought. <laughs> I can see from the corner that it's the right color. This is the Nordic gray stone and it looks pretty snazz. How fast did you guys install this? Uh, Day now? We started, we didn't even start until maybe almost well, in the time lapse, it looked like it took about 15 seconds. Yeah, that's about right. We'll go with that. 15 right? Seconds. <laughs> yeah. But you guys, good work. Good work. Quick install. Okay, now we've set up some tiles here. So we have a tile decision to be made. We are going with this porcelain tile, which is amazing for this entryway because it kind of has a bit of a rough texture to it. It's matte. It comes in three different colors. So we've taken three different colors and we've laid it out in four different options and everybody needs to vote. I want all of you guys to vote and all these guys are gonna vote and we're gonna choose a pattern. So one is we go in diagonal lines in stripes on a slightly uh, more gradual diagonal. The second option is a sharp, almost upright diagonal. The third option is that we go straight lines from the front door. And the fourth option is all mixed together. What do you think? What do you think, AY? I like diagonal. Which I diagonal? I don't think it really matters, but my sense says to go this way, the diagonal. That's my vote. Okay. And let's... What does everybody else think? Charlotte? I like that one, the first one. Yeah, Which, and I think it should go that way because you go in the come in the door, so you follow your so self this, in. So this diagonal, you and I are aligned on that. One. We are, except I want it going the other way. I want it going that way, not the way you want it. Adam, I'm thinking mixed pattern because 
If we give the foyer a direction of tile, we're going to be into the kitchen going this way and the hardwood going that way as well. So I think we should mix it up and keep the like transitions peak. different. All three of us agreed we like that one. Yeah, I like the variety. A little, uh, yeah. no. doesn't draw your the, eye The anymore. one that you did the LOL to. <laughs> Agree, so I guess it's unanimous, and that's where we're going. Yeah, one, three to one. Like out of it the same, it clutters the mind. It it's too confusing. There's already so many lines in this house. To me, that's so many. I agree. That no. that's the one. Yeah. John. Okay. So what we <laughs> yeah. So what we have what we have right now is a tie. On site we have a tie because I want this diagonal as well. This was my original idea, and I thought it'd be interesting to run with the diagonal because I thought it would reflect the diagonal slope of the roof line. And then we tried it with the sharper diagonal and I think that's too much. So I was thinking this. John, which tile pattern? One, two, three, or four. Well, you'll get your chance next time. But more interestingly, what do you think? If you were installing this, what would you do? I would do that one, because we are installing it. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you were installing it and you were given the choice? Ah, okay. Well, that's Sarah, always fun. Yeah. Sarah's gonna come in and the tile's gonna be covered with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's under there? Oh, we covered it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we're just protecting it until it's finished. Stay so tuned. Guys. Stay tuned. We'll have another and, surprise. And then there's, then there's gonna be a cowboy boot in the middle of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that still doing here? <laughs> where, did, where has this been hiding? Oh. Yeah, their cowboy boot ottoman gag was legendary. <laughs> that is the best. Now back to the current reno. Principal bathroom, if you're ever thinking about changing a wall, this is why you have to do it. This bathroom was super cramped before. Look at it now. We've got a great shower. We've got all this room. We've got a six foot vanity, double wall sconces here. It's going to be incredible. So what I've decided to do is we use three 24 inch vanity units and we're going to do a nice three inch thick nosing on our countertop. So we're gonna take in-stock cabinetry and we're gonna make it look kind of loose. Then for this shower, we're gonna do slabs. And these slabs are from, I believe, this looks like they're from 1999. And so these slabs are being discontinued or they're on surplus sale. So the idea is to do slab like this sort of pistachio green this material is available at a very affordable price but it's first come first serve get it before it's gone and what i'm thinking is i don't know is this looking green to you in here with all this lighting it's hard to tell i'm gonna put it against the white of the drywall so you can actually appreciate it it's sort of a soft pistachio green it's called verde aquamarina and it has some nice subtle veining in it and also, it's got a bit of white veining. Do you like this? I do, and it actually looks green on camera. Oh, cool. Okay, and then what I was thinking is, I found these two tiles, both of which work with it. And we're gonna do a slab wall and a slab wall. Because we are in the country, but yet we want it to feel contemporary, I was thinking maybe we'd get the best of both worlds and I was thinking I'd put this flat pebble floor for the shower. I really love the feeling of the pebble shower floor that we have at the cottage. Oh, 420. I'm about to lose my cameraman. My cameraman has to get on a conference call. I have you for, do I have how many more minutes? Five minutes? Yeah, I, seven minutes. Seven minutes, I got seven minutes. Okay, so I have two backs left. Six and a half. This is, has this ever happened to you? You're trying to have a design meeting with your husband and get some answers and he'll do anything to speed it up. So here we go. Six okay. minutes. Six minutes. Okay, I'm thinking we go with the pale green as the backsplash tile above the vanity. Do you love it? I love it. It's great. Good. 
what you're saying. It's actually the other best thing about when you're time pressed. Yes, darling. Yes. No, but don't just be my yes man. I'm not. Being, you can't no. be my yes man. I'm not being your yes man. That I, I really do like that combo. I think it's really great. Okay, because you being a yes man is bad for our financial future. Okay, you need to help me. You have to be my guiding force. No, it's cool because that will bring in the green from outside. That's I love the pistachio. I love the veining. I think the light contrast is lovely, and the pebble floor in the shower is one of my favorites. Okay, and the main floor is going to be a honed cream marble, very soft. I know people are using a lot of cream. It's all gray, 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 but we do not want this entire space to be gray. Oh wait, can you stay here for one second while I get one other idea for you? Stay tuned. I'll be right back. I said I want more minutes. Hold on, guys. Uh, about a few minutes, I guess. What do you think about this? Do you like this wallpaper? I thought maybe we might put this in the principal bedroom. Fun? It is fun. Are you worried that it's too childlike? No, I think it's got kind of a fun, it's a little sheen. It's like moons, it's like full moons. It's like full moons or big polka dots. It's a bit retro, a bit 60s, a bit, yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, next. I wanna put something interesting on the walls of the bunk room. Who thinks this is a good idea? I think it's a great Who idea. Who thinks it's a terrible idea? I think it's a great idea. Wait, vertical. it depends which direction you're talking about. If it's the a trio, great idea. like the horizontal. It's a great idea running vertically because it's gonna be a dust catcher if it runs horizontally. Oh my gosh. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> it's like deja vu dust, yeah. in here. What's that? What's that, Charlotte? Uh, it's exactly what I said when they all disagreed with me. Did they gang uh, up? Dust, collect dust collector. Well, being men, we think functionality. Yes. And 100%. You could actually hook things on it if you. Pictures? Oh, it. clutter, you mean? We are one of those. If that's what you call pictures of your family. Clutter. You got oh, the idea oh. from Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rosa Rona, yeah, Rona has this stuff everywhere. Yeah. I know, it's slot wall, so it's readily available, but my feeling was I am getting a bit tired of beadboard and tongue and groove and shiplap. So, what else is there? Slot wall. The next greatest design trend, slot wall. I think it's funky. I think it's gonna be a little tricky painting inside. They're gonna inside. spray it. I don't know, but it'll be several passes, I think, but it's not my job, so. Let's... What if you paint it vertically so it falls like the dust? <laughs> <laughs> No? It doesn't work Aww. like that. No. Only with us. I really enjoy our team meetings. <laughs> you want to stand her up? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I want to stand her up. Yeah. I think that's nice. fun. What I like about it is you really see the relief. The depth in it. it kind of looks like a jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a theme. It's, well, it's, it's a bunk bed. You know what? It's a theme room. It's a theme room. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to sleep? Now I see it. I really see it. I, I can't unsee that. Okay. So, great, great. Have you got any other shots, thoughts, yeah. thoughts, and shots you want to take yeah, with me today? Sorry, I'll stop. Now. <laughs> well, you know, maybe every room now becomes a theme room. This is the cell room, and you know. I like this. I say we do this. Yeah. You know, this is one of those cool moments. We're kind of like the kitchen at the Contemporary Chalet. <coughs> we kind of look at it and we're all going, yeah. whatever. And then we do and it. And then later we say, that's actually, actually, wow, that's the greatest thing ever. I, like I tell that. you, people had some nasty comments about that Contemporary Chalet layout, and oh, I could yeah, not really? keep my mouth shut this week. I was like, uh, hey, I had the client texting me saying, I want to respond to everybody and uh, tell them how much I love my kitchen. <laughs> I'll be honest, I thought you were crazy doing that at the start. But it is the best use of that space, and it totally works. Genius. Thank you. And I think that's where we're going to end up. Why? Here with what this. were people saying? Like, it's a long way to walk to get to the fridge. I mean, wouldn't that drive crazy? Around? I'm sorry, I don't like it. Wow. Too white. Looks like a dentist's office. <laughs> hey, guess what? For any of you who thought I don't read the comments, I do. Every single one of them. <laughs> yeah. So watch what you say. I'm getting on your feed next. See what I say to you. So yeah, we're gonna go with this. So, how are we doing on timing, you ask? Well, it's Valentine's Day, and that puts us nearly halfway through my goal of how long it'll take us to complete this project. Look what I brought for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, I'm okay, I still have work to do. You what? Try and open it? That's very nice of you. Although it is Valentine's it Day. It is. Yeah. And you say everybody forgets you, so I didn't. Oh. And now you're gonna not drink it? And I got you a glass. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! What a gentleman! It's it's. uh... I mean, you should look the other way. Like Chris is being very sweet. Well, oh my just, gosh! Well, I did get a good hug. Hey, hey! Look at this. Look what it's from. Little known fact. 
where I used to work. What? What? You mean oh, Gretzky? Gretzky? Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 In a former Sarah. life. Yes, I really did. A long, long time ago, basically before you were born, Brayden, I was a waitress. Oh, don't age yourself like that. That's so I washed great. it this morning through it in there, and that's why it's in there. You, spat, I, you I didn't, spat on it? I didn't want, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want uh, dust on it. So nice. Oh, look at this. Look what's happening here. This is a trick I've never seen. Went on a camping trip. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, Oh well. So. I told you it could be done. All right. Well. That is the best trick. Why did I miss well, that? Well, that was a life hack. Okay, I just missed it. Brayden just put That's a screw. That's how you get it out without a corkscrew. Oh. So Brayden, just give us a quick lowdown. What, what, what do you do to get that? No corkscrew. Cork so you got a screw, right? Get it in there, not too far. Leave yourself a little bit of room, and a hammer. Hold the wine bottle, and you just gotta pull it out. This is when you're on a work site and right? you have a wine well, uh, bottle with cork. <laughs> It's genius. There was a whole lot. Maybe I'll just. Yeah. Genius. I was just gonna say I'll let you do that. Oh, My hands yeah. are disgusting. <laughs> Might want to pull that foil yeah, away. I'll let you do that. It's job site wine. We're not gonna be picky here. <laughs> this is how all the pros do it: a screw, a hammer, and their fingers. But the glass is clean. Thanks, guys. I'll go. Oh, oh okay. yeah. no, I'd rather spend Valentine's Day with than you guys. It's icy. Oh, They're thinking. Wait a second. Oh, aren't we getting everybody. out of here? <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers, Adam. Cheers. Did you like this video? Here's what I need you to do. I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because if you subscribe, next time I launch a video, you'll know about it. I'll tell you. Sound good?